The recent controversy regarding the United Aircraft Corporation's revised specifications for the MC-21 has sparked considerable discussion within aviation circles. Much of this discussion originates from changes made on the UAC website, where the maximum flight range for a 175-passenger load was adjusted from approximately 5,100 kilometers to 3,830 kilometers. This change appeared quietly approximately one month ago without explanation and immediately triggered questions about whether the aircraft's performance had declined or whether the initial figures were overstated. A closer examination shows that the UAC website itself may be causing confusion instead of offering clarity. The structuring, formatting, and style of presenting aircraft data vary widely between different models. The TU-214 page, for instance, lists only a minimal set of parameters and includes an ICAO category while omitting essential data such as dry operating weight. Its range is given alongside its maximum commercial payload and is approximately 3,800 kilometers. Meanwhile, the MC-21 page shows both standard and maximum seating arrangements, but the updated range is displayed specifically in connection with a commercial payload of 21,300 kilograms, which has caused confusion among observers. Now let's interpret the 3,830-kilometer range of the MC-21. The ambiguity mostly arises from how the phrase maximum commercial load is presented by UAC. To draw attention, the website now shows 175 passengers in a large standout font. This indicates that UAC intends to highlight that the 3,830-kilometer figure corresponds to a full-capacity configuration, meaning the aircraft carrying its entire allowable passenger load along with their baggage. Put simply, the MC-21 can fly approximately 3,830 kilometers while transporting 175 passengers with a total payload of about 21.3 tons. This closely matches the typical payload range characteristics of medium-range narrow-body aircraft. A medium-range narrow-body aircraft needs nearly two hours of fuel to fly around 5,100 kilometers, and this fuel weight alone is close to five tons. Subtracting that fuel from the maximum payload leaves around 16.3 tons for passengers and baggage. These values correspond with real operating data used by airlines worldwide. As an example, consider an Airbus A321 with registration VP-BTR. On a particular flight, this aircraft carried 171 passengers and 3,722 kilograms of baggage and cargo. The total payload for that flight was approximately 16.3 tons, almost identical to the MC-21 payload capacity for a 5,100-kilometer mission with reduced passengers. This confirms that UAC's revised figures align well with the expected performance of aircraft in this class. Now let's compare the MC-21 payload range performance with the A320neo and the 737 MAX. The most accurate way to check whether the updated MC-21 numbers are realistic is to compare its payload range curve with the Airbus A320neo and the Boeing 737 MAX 8, which are its primary competitors in the global narrow body market. The Airbus A320neo has a published range of around 6,300 kilometers. However, this figure applies only under ideal payload range conditions. With a full passenger load, the practical range falls to about 3,300 to 3,700 kilometers, depending on layout, cabin density, and operating weights. The aircraft reaches the advertised range of over 6,000 kilometers only when the payload is reduced substantially for specialized long thin routes. The Boeing 737 MAX 8 similarly has a listed maximum range of about 6,570 kilometers. However, just like the A320neo, that number applies under reduced payload certification conditions, not with a fully occupied cabin. Operational data, 
worldwide shows that fully loaded MAX 8 flights typically operate between 3,000 and 3,800 kilometers. This is why airlines do not deploy the MAX 8 on long transcontinental missions. When we compare these trends, the MC-21 fully loaded range of 3,830 kilometers is completely consistent with industry norms. Likewise, its reduced payload range of around 5,100 kilometers aligns with the long-range performance of the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8 when flown under similar load conditions. The next question is whether narrow-body jets can fly to Russia's Far East fully loaded. This is a major topic in the current debate. The distances from Moscow to the Far Eastern cities are substantial, approximately 6,400 kilometers to Vladivostok and about 6,100 kilometers to Khabarovsk. These distances exceed not only the maximum range of the MC-21, but also the full payload ranges of the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8. It is important to note that the maximum ranges quoted for all narrow-body aircraft are achieved with reduced payloads. An A320neo does not fly 6,000-kilometer missions with 180 to 200 passengers. Likewise, a 737 MAX 8 does not operate such routes at full cabin capacity. Airlines use wide-body aircraft or special long-range reduced payload narrow-body variants for these distances. Therefore, neither the A320neo nor the 737 MAX 8 can operate non-stop from Moscow to Vladivostok or Khabarovsk with full passenger loads. Even with moderate loads, these flights are extremely challenging for narrow-body aircraft. Airlines typically use wide bodies or schedule refueling stops. This is precisely why Russian airlines frequently deploy Airbus A330 aircraft, Boeing 777 aircraft, or Boeing 767 aircraft on Far Eastern routes. These aircraft have far greater fuel capacity and are designed for long intercontinental missions. Narrow bodies such as the MC-21, the A320neo, and the 737 MAX are optimized for medium-range operations, not 6,000-kilometer missions. Now let us understand the MC-21's capabilities for domestic Russian missions. For flights within Russia, the MC-21 remains highly suitable. Routes up to around 3,800 kilometers with a full payload include many major domestic destinations, such as Moscow to Novosibirsk, Krasnoyarsk, and Blagoveshchensk. These routes form a large portion of Russia's dense domestic network, where narrow body efficiency is especially important. For longer missions approaching 4,000 to 5,000 kilometers, airlines would need to reduce the passenger count. This is standard practice worldwide. Airlines routinely adjust payload and seating for difficult routes to ensure fuel margins, weather allowances, and overall safety. If the MC-21 operated the Moscow to Blagoveshchensk route with roughly 160 to 170 passengers, it would remain well within its performance envelope. Missions over 5,000 kilometers with a full payload remain beyond the reach of any modern narrow body in the MC-21's category. Wide-body aircraft will continue to serve these sectors because they are built for such ranges and payloads. Now let us understand why this range controversy began online. The debate started primarily because of how UAC updated the website. Instead of releasing a complete payload, range chart, or a clear explanation, the revised numbers appeared suddenly and in a format lacking context. The abrupt shift from about 5,100 kilometers to a more precise 3,830 kilometers at maximum load created the impression that the aircraft's performance had worsened. If UAC had published a standard payload range diagram similar to those regularly released by Airbus and Boeing, the entire controversy might have been avoided. These diagrams clearly show how range decreases as payload increases, forming the classic triangular payload range shape. Without such a chart, people unfamiliar with payload range behavior may have interpreted normal performance relationships as an unexpected reduction. 
Now let us conclude. Based on available data, the updated range values of the MC21 fall comfortably within the expected performance envelope for today's narrow-body aircraft. The aircraft can fly approximately 3,800 kilometers with a full passenger load, which is fully comparable with the A320neo and the 737 MAX 8. When the payload is reduced, flights of around 5,100 kilometers remain entirely feasible, again matching Western counterpart. The MC-21 is not meant for non-stop Far East missions at maximum capacity, and neither are its competitors. Such routes require wide-body aircraft designed for extended ranges, not medium-range narrow bodies. The misunderstanding mainly resulted from unclear communication and a lack of technical context on the UAC website. In real-world usage, when the aircraft is deployed within its designed mission profile, the MC-21 performs fully in line with competitive global standards. Once it enters regular commercial service, operational data will provide deeper insights. As of now, the available information shows that there is no evidence supporting the concerns that circulated over the past month. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us 